Good morning, good morning, how are you? Okay, sorry, sorry, that's the song from my daughter's uh, YouTube thing. Hey y'all, it's Saturday, how are you? How's it going? Um, not gonna be with you too long today, but <sighs> let's get into it. Hey, it's Saturday. That means we're going to spend some time with God. Welcome to Saturdays with God with your girl, Ashley Renee. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. Let's get into it. All right. So I have been stressing. We know this because last week we talked about the strop, stop, drop, and roll, right? We talked about that last week. From the perspective of when there's a fire, you know, we learned in school, you don't just go running around in a panic. You stop, you get on the ground, and you roll around to stop the fire and to be able to survive and move to the next level in life. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so just as a reminder, the stop was to just stop what you're doing. Don't panic. Don't panic. I realized, I'll get to that home, but you stop what you're doing, don't panic, okay? Um, stop running around, stop all of that pause what that does is it stops the flames from growing bigger stops it from increasing and really consuming you two is to drop to the ground and so what we talked about last week is that is the time for me to worship for me to pray for me to focus on God to shift my focus from the fire from the flames to okay let me stop I've already stopped and now I'm on the ground, um, I've dropped. I've humbled myself. Okay. Three is to roll. And ultimately, this is just trust God, right? So I begin to think about it. You know, a lot of times, the habit of running around in a panic with things not going right, when things go wrong, it happens a lot like that's becomes part of your nature and I shouldn't say your nature but it becomes a bad habit you feel me so for me personally bad habit is when the world we talked about this when the world comes in I just let down a lid or rush so my favorite word rush out all over me The way that I break this habit is by planning. In pencil, um, be, and I shouldn't say planning, being intentional. Can I say that? Being intentional about what I'm doing and how I'm moving. Being intentional about my prayer life. Being intentional about reading my word. Being intentional about trusting God exercising that muscle of trust so I haven't been doing videos I haven't been doing my Saturdays with God since April maybe before that so I developed a bad habit and stopped exercising that muscle stop being intentional that's a problem and you say, well, you know, you got a new baby. And she ain't new. She'll be one on Wednesday. Whoop, whoop. Um, but at the same time, like, it, it was a shift. It was a huge shift. It was a shift with my heart. It was a shift with my expectations of what I thought was supposed to happen with my life. I gave God a picture gave God a plan. This is what my life is supposed to be. Then got mad when it didn't turn out that way. Then I decided I'm just gonna go do my thing. 
And God said, okay, cool. Go do your thing. Okay. We won't get into that. You need to know more about that. Past videos. All right, we're moving forward. But my point being is that I develop bad habits and I now need to be more intentional about what I'm doing and what I'm supposed to be doing. More intentional about fulfilling my purpose. So if I'm not intentional, if I'm not focused in thinking about what is my next step and what do I need to do and seeking God for those answers, and even when he is silent, his word is always there. And it's, it's, it'll be clear for you if you read it, if you study it and meditate on it. Like there are certain things guys like, okay, this, 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 those things don't change. They're in the Bible all the time. Pray, meditate, um, seek my face. There is no only if or seek my face when. There's no time frame around it. There's no when to do it. It's seek my face, period. All right. <sighs> that, that scripture, the seek my face, turn from your wicked ways, pray, and then I, will heal, I will, then I will hear from heaven and heal the land. Very clear instructions. Um, I have a, a group that I meet with on Tuesdays and we talk about all the time how I wish God would just give me a list and I could just one, two, three, do the steps. And then once I do the steps, I'm like, okay, cool. Christian, check. Right? Okay. Well, there are some steps in the Bible. All right. That being said, I didn't prepare well for this Saturday with God because I wasn't intentional about it. I prepare well for other things, but I got to get more intentional about this. I need a new camera. I know, let me rephrase that, sorry. I need a camera. <laughs> you like, how you been doing this? Mind your business. No, I'm just kidding. Um, with my phone great phone but what I have to do after the video is redonkulous okay? um, and my computer is busted so I need a new computer or I need to get that one repaired of course you know I'm leaning towards some new but we'll see what happens um, it's a number of things that I need to be intentional about so that I can really do this right you know what I mean? So the question I pose to you today is, what is it that you are not being intentional about? And you probably are like me, like most people. I'm very intentional about other things that really don't matter. It ain't that big. It ain't that serious. But I'm so invested in it. Why? So I personally am going to shift my focus and really be intentional about my next moves so that when the storm comes, the stop, drop, and roll will become second nature, which means I won't think about it. I will just do it. Oh, mm -mm, stop. Let me, Lord. All right, I trust you. I need for that to be without question without a thought of like boom all right let's move you know what I mean and so in order for that to happen I need to be intentional about how I'm setting up I need to be intentional about what day I record because it can't be on Saturday you, you, you do know okay this video right here I'm not even gonna edit it you getting the raw real here it is so sorry we don't have all the little frilly stuff going on because that takes time and as i stated in earlier videos i can't do it until my daughter's asleep like for real for real asleep not napping all my mother say what what okay i'm just saying 
It's not a problem. I have to be intentional about it. And I only complain if is I'm not being intentional. All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful Saturday. Be intentional today. And if you're not being intentional, if you're so focused on stuff that you're like, this doesn't even matter. Take a moment, sit down and plan it out. And, and when I say plan, our plans should always be written in pencil with an eraser. Erasable. Flexible. Adjustable. Because God at any moment can come in and change it. And we got to be able to what? Roll. It's going to be okay. Today's going to be a great day. I love you guys. Like I said, have a wonderful Saturday. Be intentional. Share this, like this, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And I'll talk to you next week. Intentionally. <laughs>